This is Captain Hudson. He's four inches tall, made of cotton, and to look at him, you would never know just how many lives he's saved. He looks like just a bundle of cuteness, but thanks to the support of thousands of incredible people, he is so much more. There are 1,372 Captain Hudsons out there in the world right now, with thousands more being made very soon. He's visited every corner of the globe and he's got up to all kinds of weird and interesting things along the way. I'm sure that he must have the highest loyalty status with every single cruise line by now, and he loves cookies just as much as I do. To understand how we got to this place that is amazing and a little bit bizarre, we need to rewind about a year. I was in the kitchen making myself lunch and listening to a podcast the first time I ever heard Mercy Ships mentioned. I work in the cruise industry and I can't help it. Whenever I hear anything to do with ships, I just start listening. The person speaking said that they'd spent a couple of years volunteering on board the Global Mercy. And at this point, I had never heard that ship name before and I had no idea what they did. It did sound cool though, Global Mercy. I decided that I wanted to find out more and after a little bit of research, I found out that Mercy ships run hospital ships where everybody on board is a volunteer. From the surgeons to the chefs to the cleaners, everybody on board has given up months or years of their life to be there. The Global Mercy holds over 600 people, so this isn't some little ship with some first aid kits on board. This is a seriously impressive engineering marvel and they have six operating theatres on board. Mercy ships do have another ship too, and their ships sail to places that don't have any access to healthcare, and they provide treatments and surgeries and training, all free of charge. In terms of gross tonnage, the Global Mercy is actually bigger than a cruise ship that I cruised on recently called the Azamara Onward. The Azamara Onward, of course, doesn't have wards or dentists or training facilities, but apart from that, the two ships actually aren't too different. They both have an auditorium, a pool, a cafe, and loads more. It all sounded fantastic to me, and as much as I love sharing cruise tips on this channel, I always knew that I wanted to do more with my voice here. If you gave me a megaphone and you said, Emma, you can speak to 250,000 people, which we nearly have 250,000 subscribers on this channel, I would definitely want to use my voice for something that's worth saying. I wanted to create something that would not only raise money for Mercy Ships, but that would also bring our community together. I wanted to create something physical, something people could hold and that they could take with them, so that every time they looked at this, they would know what a difference they'd made through Captain Hudson. I knew that I had to come up with a way to raise money, but I had no idea how. I already shaved off my hair for charity twice, once live on this YouTube channel, which does explain why I always have different hairstyles in every single one of my YouTube videos. I really didn't want to do that again though. Having a shaved head is fine, but growing out that hairstyle is really, really tricky. And every single day without fail, I get some sort of mean comment on this channel. Still now, it's a year later, every day I get a mean comment about my hair. But raising money for a charity like Mercy Ship certainly puts things like that into perspective. I would much prefer to spend my time and my energy focusing on doing something that's worth doing rather than these people who are just nasty. On this channel, I do live streams every week and over the last few years, my cat Hudson has become a huge part of those. I'm actually starting to think that people sometimes come to the lives just to see Hudson rather than me, but either way, I'm okay with that. The fantastic people who come to our live stream started to call him Captain Hudson and every week they would ask me, where is the captain? I started to think to myself, you know what would be really cool? It would be so cool if everybody could have their own versions of Captain Hudson and they could take him on cruises with them and then spread the message of Mercy Ships even further. I had no idea how I would be able to make this a reality though. I definitely wasn't going to be sat there sewing these toys myself. I could not make a decent toy like this if my life depended on it. Speaking to another YouTuber, I discovered a company that specializes in creating plush toys. Great, I thought, this is the solution. This is what I've needed. I will just sell these toys, donate the money to Mercy Ships and that will be it. Sadly, it was not that easy and there was a problem. In order to get the toys made, I needed to sell at least 300, and if that didn't happen, the money would be refunded to everybody, the toys wouldn't be made, and it would just be really depressing. I figured what would be even sadder though was if I didn't even try. Worst case scenario, we wouldn't raise any money for Mercy Ships, and they wouldn't get any money, and they wouldn't get any money anyway without me trying, so I figured I might as well give it a go. I had to spend almost $1,000 on getting this first sample made. That was a big gamble and I had to be prepared just to lose that money if it didn't work. I really hoped that it would though and as soon as this first sample arrived, I knew that I'd made the right decision. He's so cute, look at him. 
I just sent them a few kind of rough ideas and some sketches and somehow they managed to turn him into this. Incredible, very, very impressed. Captain Hudson's colours match the colours of Real Hudson. Real Hudson isn't quite this orange, but you know what I mean. He has the most adorable pink little toe beans, he has his name on his hat, and I think he's just the cutest thing. I must have seen pictures of him thousands of times, and every time I see it, I still think, oh my goodness, he is so cute. His orange colour really stands out too against water, which is very, very important for a cruising cat. I started to take my Captain Hudson with me on cruises and to share photos of his adventures. At this point, I was just hoping and praying that we would get those 300 sails that we needed. I was absolutely prepared to be there at last minute, you know, buying the last 10 or something. But thankfully, I did not have to do that and we sold 1,300. My mind was absolutely blown and it is still blown, 1,300. I can't ever thank you enough for those original orders. If you did order, you were just incredible. Thank you so much. I ordered quite a few for myself to give away to family and friends and I don't think the real Hudson was too impressed. He has no idea how famous he is though. When the Captain Hudson toys started to arrive and everyone started to share their photos with him, it really kind of sank in how many we'd sold. In total, we raised a little over $12,000 for Mercy Ships and this was just the start. We were not stopping here. Mercy Ships were so excited by the donation and they said, your audience are brilliant and we're so grateful. They've helped save lives, please know that. I originally thought that this would just be a one-off idea, but the more I learned about Mercy Ships, the more I knew we had to keep going. I read the story of one of the volunteers, Alan, who had recently lost his wife to cancer. The couple were married for 45 years and Alan said that when she died, I felt as though I'd lost all purpose in life. He volunteered for Mercy Ships as a baker because they need all kinds of jobs on board and he said that it changed his life. I knew that I wanted to raise more money, but I didn't know if that would be through Captain Hudson. I didn't know if maybe there was a limit on how many Captain Hudsons could be in the world, but it seems not. I started to see that people were creating their own incredible animations of Captain Hudson. I've seen amazing drawings of Hudson, AI generated Hudsons, and every single day I would see more and more pictures of people taking Hudson out on adventures. So I thought to myself, you know what, let's do it again. I have heard about people who've made friends with other people on cruise ships because they have Captain Hudson in common and that is just the coolest thing in the world to me. I did not predict that. The way that I see it, Captain Hudson is doing good on cruise ships, he's doing good on hospital ships and... <laughs> and the company that creates these, they're actually based in Canada, for every single sail they plant a tree. So Hudson's basically created his own forest. Not that one, he knocked that tree down, but the rest of them there's a Hudson Forest somewhere. By popular demand, version 2 has the addition of a life jacket because quite a few people bought their own life jackets for Captain Hudson version 1 and I did add a little chocolate chip cookie into his pocket just so that he's prepared for anything that happens. So far we've sold over 800 of version 2 which is absolutely incredible. That is going to save people's lives, real people's lives, which is just bonkers to think about. He's an orange cat but thanks to you he can do really really good things. He will be available to buy until the 24th of June 2023 and then version 2 will never be available again. My current plan is to release a new Captain Hudson every six months or so. I am planning on doing a formal night Hudson. I think that would be really cute with a little tuxedo. Also maybe a beach Hudson. He could have some little swim shorts. He could have some sunglasses. But really the sky is the limit and I would love to know what you think we should do for the next versions of Captain Hudson. Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to know what Captain Hudson has been up to lately, make sure you watch this video next. This is one of the weirdest cruise ship cabins I've ever stayed in, but Captain Hudson seemed to like it. You'll see him a lot in this video.